Hello ladies and gentlemen, I hope you're all well. So I've recently created a video on how to use uh, Brickstore, kind of like a beginner's guide. And since then I've learned something uh, that's kind of like changed the way I upload um, to BrickRank uh, much better. It's, it's, it's really transformed my uploading experience and parting out new sets is so much quicker for me now. Uh, just to give you an example beforehand, I used to have to try and look up all the numbers where my locators are and I found a way that you can do this pretty much for all your existing uh, items you can find all the parts uh, already part of the the process so I'm going to show you in a second um, how I'm going to get this set I'm just gonna add this set to my store very simple there's not many parts not many lots 71730 I've got four of these uh, so we're gonna be transitioning uh, to um, desktop view and then I will show you how I literally uh, go about and uh, upload this so uh, shall we get started so we're in brick stock now and this is the view that you can see at the beginning so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look for the set so this is set number seven one seven three zero and I've got four of these one two three four I want it to be new, I want to include the extra parts, I don't care about instructions. And import. Now that's done. That. So I can see in the background, let's just sort by color. I always seem to do that. Many figures should be should be at the top. That's right. Uh first thing I do is I consolidate all the lots because I mentioned the added parts are in there. So let's do control A, which means select all. I right click and consolidate items. Uh you see. There's four extra items and there's eight normally. So we want it to be one line um, with all of them. So yes to all. So it's going to merge everything into one line. So there was four of them because now we've got 38 lines left. So 38 lots, 224 items. Now the pricing is still missing. So the pricing is a bit of an issue on brick store. You need to uh, adjust it because it's slightly higher compared to what the averages are. But it's a good starting point. So I'm going to go to the set price guide. Last six months sales average, okay, and it's going to bring in my pricing. So that's done that. So for this set, there's only 38 lots, so I could go look up every single one of them, but here's the, the beauty of this. So one thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to click on this home button and I'm going to BrickLink store inventory. So I'm going to open my store inventory. So it'll take a, well, that was quick. So it's downloaded my store inventory. So Literally, it's got all my store inventory in the two tabs. So you see there's two tabs here. That's my store inventory, and this is the item. Now, what I can do, uh, if I remember correctly, I think it's one of these options. You go into Edit and you press Copy Values from Document. So I want to items from this document. I'm going to click Next. So I'm copying some values from that document. And I'm going to ignore the price. I don't want the price. I don't want the the cost, the tier pricing, quantity, or anything of that copied across. The only thing I want to copy across and merge is my remark, because I want the remarks to come from my store. So I'm going to click on Finish, and what you can see, uh, it's got all the locators already. So beforehand, I had to go and uh, search for the number in BrickLink to see in the inventory where it was currently located, whereas now I automatically know it. So this saves me, uh, you can't imagine how much time this actually saves me. And it also identifies easily which sets, I, which items I haven't got in store. So when I have to start, um, you know, finding new locators, I can easily see, okay, these ones need to go into bins that I don't have yet. For example, this one CP, I can remove it because that's a combined piece. Uh, so you see it's that part plus the tire. So I'm going to remove that because I'm not going to add that. Any others like that? CP? No, it's the only one. So yeah, that's another one down. So we're down to 37 lots. So yeah, what I'm going to go do now, I'm going to open these packs, start adding them. Uh, I'll add the remarks for all the locations of these newly added parts. So these are new lots that I currently haven't got in my store. And uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll then come back to you when we get to the upload process. So we've now finished uh, uploading. Well, we haven't uploaded it. We finished adding all the comments uh, in terms of whether all location was that actually was really quick. It was quite a lot of fun. Uh, the one thing I want to show you as well, that's quite useful. If you want to sort out minifigures and you want to make sure you can either also part out the minifigure or um, 
want to understand what parts are uh, belong to this minifigure you can click on this and right click and there is part out item and then it pops up here should the item be parted out into the current document replacing the selected item so basically if you don't want the minifigure style as a whole but as a part you, you have to press yes but if you just want to see what the parts are you press no and it opens in a new tab and it kind of gives you the breakdown of all the parts uh, so that's really useful as well with some of the more complicated minifigures i guess just to make sure uh, you've got all the parts when you put your minifigures together so yeah that's just something i wanted to share quickly so we're now ready to upload this so we were adding this to the store so I'm going to select A, so control control A, so all, everything's selected. So 37 lots, 220 items, about 54 pounds. You know, I put my price of my minifigures quite high on Bricklink, just purely because I prefer to sell them on, on eBay. So now I go to File, Export, and Mass Upload. So I'm uploading, which means I'm adding stuff to the store. If I was just updating something, I would use the Mass Update, but... We're doing upload and as soon as I do that, it's going to do a copy already of all this. So I just press this and Bricklink should open in the right page. And this is what we see. So I want to consolidate my lots. And the one thing I do is I want new price and new tier pricing. Although I don't, don't have any tier pricing as elements and new remarks in case um, you move some of the... Um, the locations and your remarks in this case i didn't do anything but it's just a, the way i do it i always put new remarks uh, and we want to add the new remarks as well right so this is purely for if you consolidate and all i got to do here is paste in there so when i clicked the button before on uh, brick store it took a copy i said so now i just control v it pasted everything and i press verify file and i just wait a couple of seconds and it shows you which lots are being consolidated which one's not all being added and then I just upload file and that's it. And that's how easy it is to add stuff to the store using brick store. So, uh, and let's say you wanted a, you had a huge set to do. You can do this in parts, right? You can just select certain items you want to upload and then you just, you know, delete these items and you save the file and you continue later. So that's why I really like brick store, especially for the, for the largest set. So, yeah. So yeah, uh, brick store is definitely the way forward for me. I hope you did find that uh, useful. So uh, it's definitely saving us a lot of time using that functionality of copying the existing data. And you could copy the pricing as well if you wanted to maintain your current pricing. Uh, so yeah, it's uh, it, it's all up to you depending on, on what you want to do with it. So there's a lot more functions as well. I'm still getting my head around to brick store, but those are the sort of things that I now use for. Uh, adding stock to my store so yeah i hope you find this useful if you do make sure you give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already but yeah we'll see you again soon with more videos bye for now